welcome to today's NCCR product news. We have a lot of stuff to tell you today. We have like how many different topics? Like seven different topics and we're I starting... A long time not seen. So Yes, that's true too, so, right? So it's just, uh, yeah, piled up a little bit uh, with, a, with a product. And, uh, yeah, and we're showing some that we are finally gotten in where we can show you all the details now that we yeah. have all the different pieces. Yeah, and it was, it, it, the year was really, really... Interesting. 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 But um, we... We we're still on a lot of new stuff yeah. and, uh, uh, and completed. And a lot of news also coming. Yeah, on so. also completed a, 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 a lot of things. Who took it took their time. Sorry for that, but, um, but yeah. like like quick shifters uh, are finally really done in a really we think perfect new way that we will talk about mm -hmm. and we will talk Typhon. Yes, the Typhon. The T. Many people don't mention the T word. <laughs> don't mention the T. Yeah, what's going to happen? Piaggio is going to come again. Oh, well, there's a lot of <laughs> shit talk about the Typhon project. And, yes. um, original, um, it was uh, developed um, from uh, our friend Heiko Yesser together with us when he was working for Gruner Engineering. Who and, was in uh, turn working for uh, Volkswagen. And, 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 and they needed, they were keen, the, the, the owner, um, uh, he was keen to have something what um, is uh, usable to use on shows because their work was strictly confidential. So um, they could not show the new dashboard of the Volkswagen Golf, I think yeah, it's Rabbit the, in America. The, the glove compartment. Yeah, the glove yes. compartment from the Volkswagen T6 bus from in three years. So you cannot make a show up with. So uh, they were keen to do that. So. Original, um, it was back in the Pegasus race team times, so I think it was 2009 or 2010. Mm. And, um, and Heiko, uh, uh, he constructed it all and uh, um, there was uh, uh, yeah permanent discussion between Birgit, my wife, she do a lot of uh, design her uh, here and uh, her mother. Mm. And... Um, and uh, and us and uh, uh, the, like the aero elements, uh, uh, the details were worked out by Heiko. The ideas were coming from us. I said I need to have something with splitters, and it was that was back then quite advanced. And then at Gruner we got the opportunity to. Um, 3D printed back then. Now, this is when 3D printing was not available to no. normal people. No, it was all not printed in SLS yes. and it took ages uh, overnight. So, and we're not talking filament like the spaghetti one that I have, where you have the nozzle that is dispensing the plastic in, yeah, in, in layers. But there you have the laser that shoots into a powder. powder yeah. So and mm. that's how you make those yeah. pieces. So you can make parts that are more intricate, and you don't need a lot of helping structures in between. So this is like, at I that think, time, think, super yeah, trooper, think, trooper, I, outer space, cool. I think I think Carsten Gruner mentioned once that the work, what was done for the intentional Typhon One, what was shown in the, at the Essen Motor Show in 2010, the parts were like 100 grand. Uh, 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 so it was And they let the printer run overnight yeah, yeah, yeah. when they weren't yeah. printing their parts, our parts were printing yeah. during the nights yeah. and stuff like and that. Then, and, and then we had the, uh, uh, the real Typhon uh, uh, in Spain and uh, uh, well, and then yeah, we quit Pegasus race team, don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and then there were some other spin-offs we were not uh, uh, engaged with. Um, but uh, we always kept um, a, a set and um, there was... And we already, we at the moment built two bikes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 yeah, three in real. And, um, and there was a lot of demand on the, on the, on the fenders. So, uh, but what... We originally we had the plan like uh, four or five years ago to launch the complete uh, Typhon collection, and then uh, we start uh, to work with it, and then uh, we start to announce it a little bit, and then we got uh, unpleasant experience uh, with Piaggio, with Piaggio <laughs> because Piaggio uh, released the dogs and on us yes. and said uh, we are not allowed to use the Typhon name in any way because they have a nice scooter 
Um, a silly little, what is it? I don't know. 50 cubic uh, or something. Yeah, called ty uh, uh, typhoon. Uh, typhoon. Um, and, um, and, 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 and then when we, we gave it to the lawyers, the lawyers looked into it and they say, yeah, just, just, uh, uh forget it. Yeah. So since then we, we, we had the project on ice and uh, this is why we call it now, uh, the project T. Yes. And, um, so don't mention the name. Don't it's mention the project the... T. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll have to come up with another name <laughs> so when you look on the pictures um, back from Spain uh, 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 I think uh, the Typhon was uh, one of the yeah nicest EBR style bike ever and will it be forever um, it is uh, so simple and uh, so 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 clear and on the pictures you still see this powered by Rotax where they where they contacted us and say <clears throat> don't oh, no. mention our name yeah so don't mention the type don't mention the Rotax <laughs> exactly because uh, we are not involved uh, uh, well uh, Rotax uh, said that yes Rotax said that in the 1190 big bore thing of the RS bike so um, yeah let's um, Let's have a look on the fenders. Yeah. All right, so you've seen them up close and the only thing that's missing on mine now is a little bushing that I have drawn up and that uh, Tim is making for us. Yeah, so that, that is in production. Yes. And this is how it sits, roughly. And yeah. it's... They're quite expensive because uh, <coughs> our, our, our fiberglass guy, here you got a screw. Um, uh, our fiberglass guy, well, he say it's not so much difference uh, if you do a tank cover or, or, or if he make a small part, uh, uh, you need to, an alternative uh, in, an, in the optical way to, um, to hot up your... EBR 1190. Um, the uh, front fender um, and the rear fender. The front fender fits all XB too. The rear fender fits also all 1125. And um, talking 1125, we also have ready the mounting kit. Um, you remember we made the, um, the belly pan for the 1125. Do you remember this was my first 3D printed part? Ever. Yeah, when we, uh, when, uh, when, we got, when we got the printer right. Yes, that's my first 3D printed part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> even even in, 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 in a difficult year like that, I would say we have a steep learning curve. <laughs> So that is the belly pan uh, that is in the program and available since, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, begin of the year. But now uh, also the uh, stainless steel um, mounting kit is available in the web shop. That's uh, three pieces. And quick talk about the Oh, we have one seat. thing. With, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That also goes with the seat. Yeah. So... It's a lot of running back and forth today, but it's so many things. This this is the RS style seat, what was also used um, on the on the Typhoon. And there was a lot of complaints always that um, with some um, foam here, it is uh, quite uh, uncomfortable. And also how to mount them. Uh, there are, yeah, Julia can explain the mounting. So this is... Uh, one of the few pieces that you need to go from the RX to the RS seat. So you know that you have these um, noses. We're gonna call them noses here on your frame. And this just easily slides over. We've actually had people ask like, how does that actually work? It's that one. So, and it just slides over super easy. And you have it on both sides. And then you can screw your um, yeah. There you screw the seat two, pan down. The two front. <laughs> yes. These ones and in the rear for these ones, uh, you need to drill holes yes. here, and then you have some uh, um, rivets with threads, 
and that uh, uh, and there you have the other two mounting points. Also one, just to make clear, it's always in a video easier. There are two versions of this seat. Mm -hmm. the, the fiberglass piece. We have the open one, what can be used with the full length of the subframe. Um, the 1190 RR bikes, uh, they had a chopped uh, tail and uh, a, a chopped subframe. And for these ones, if you want to chop, we have a closed version. Um, both, and that goes till the World Superbikes, to all of them, is getting a little bit bad over it. So as more you cut out, as, as, more, as easier it gets. But then, of course, the clearance is getting bigger and bigger, and that might not look so super cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the fiberglass story. And you remember our frame stabilizers for the EBR? We first made them in black because black is an easy color, but... Black. Black, yeah. Wait. Black. But... We also have them in color now. We chose to make a very fast red and a very cool blue. Yeah. So that's two additional colors that are available now. Yeah. We just got them in this week. Yeah. So I think I think we have the first 15 or, or, or something, 15 or 20 out. And uh, the next uh, bunch is in. And we just test, well, uh, test uh, anodized now red and blue. <gasps> and... Uh, the blue one goes uh, to Alaska, um, to, uh, to an 1190 um, owner of a 2019 RX, the gray one with, uh, with a yellow stripe. Um, uh, he gets the blue set and um, the red is still available. So if somebody think about and is keen to get it in red, um, there's one on the shelf now and black um, is, uh, is on the shelf. Yeah. Um. Stitching that is like the normal stitching will be the EBR and it's made by race seeds, but oh, and it's carbon fiber under, but it's I'm not sure if it's carbon fiber or if it's so we, we are not selling it as carbon fiber, no, we just happen to get them like this. Yeah, so race seeds, he uh, is uh, the manufacturer of the champions, yes. A That's what of, all the World Superbikes have, yeah. Also, the EBR World Superbikes uh, uh, have it mm -hmm. uh, on. Um, and um, it's a wonderful quality yes. and it makes this hard um, RS style seat a little bit more comfortable. A little, yes. Oh, well, it is, it, it it is, is very thick. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the stitching is very, very pretty. So it is stitched. You maybe cannot see this from as far as you're away now. And you can get it stitched in different colors. You can get it stitched with your own logo, your own name. If you have a favorite color or yeah. favorite animal i don't know i just talked to them <laughs> this morning and uh, the first individuals from the last uh, we had this special uh, offer mm -hmm. um uh, the first individually made ones coming in um in the uh yeah f begin of second week of january mm -hmm. um so um well the italians are delivering really good quality and uh, it is for what you get it's a, i think it's very fair priced also and we are not saying that there's carbon fiber under yeah. it sure looks like it but 
Yeah. It's not it's, what we ordered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it is. It is. Um, it's also you see this race uh, stuff. So if you want to uh, have it super nice, maybe you just send it and clear code it um, uh, for a race. Uh, 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 it is it, it is just uh, 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 perfect. It's of light. course, yeah. very very light. Yeah. Yeah. Talking mm -hmm. Italy. Talking about Italy. Talking real carbon now. Yes, um, just, <laughs> that we know. Just just to uh, uh, to say that um, it uh, 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 with SC Project um, it uh, finally worked yes. out uh, good. Um, they uh, picked up the production. And um, we got all what uh, we we ordered mm -hmm. for to fulfill all customer orders and uh, have even uh, from each a little bit uh, of stock. Um, and Alan Hawks is, is on it. Yeah. Uh, he finally got um, now all the parts who are needed uh, to make the connection tubes and uh, the headers and and everything. He's also quite full with work and for all of us just that you understand it um, if e even if we had also covid problems here in the company uh, 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 so we were uh, meanwhile we also were directly affected but um, it, it's it, it's also that uh, it slows everything down and uh, you just must give, give the people time uh, uh, like Ellen he's located in England And uh, they have now the total lockdown yes. uh, 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 since two days uh, on the borders. And, 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 and just, um, yeah. Be, have patience. Have patience. And uh, uh, we're, everybody is working and is on it. And um, uh, 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 the SC project uh, stuff will come now in. And then um, we still need to go on the dyno. The dyno renovation is also... Uh, 95% finished, yeah. some cables. Thanks All the Dirk. Computers are in. Yeah, yeah, thanks Dirk in, in our drag racer in uh, in Belgium. He built the complete electricity. Normally, it was a pro, uh, the plan that he comes here. What was not possible, so we send the frequency uh, boxes, uh, frequency changes to uh, adjust the RPM of the fans, mm -hmm. uh, send it to Belgium, and he built the big box, and then we brought send it, it uh, with a transport company back. It was like an 80 kilo wall box where all the electronic is in, and uh, so all that slows down, costs money. And um, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you all for your for your um, support. What else we have? I see you. A B M, yeah. I see you. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, A B M. Um, there is. We we see a demand that people say. They want to ride the RX, but it is kind of uncomfortable. Yes. So, so um, what we what we will do now? We will look a little bit more into the ergonomic thing that is handlebar, that is foot packs, mm -hmm. um, uh, seat. We uh, we have now uh, this solution. We discuss if we should make a race seat. Um, also for the original seat situation, that would be something. But there we need to make some brackets. Uh, uh, if there is a demand, we will we will for sure do that. Mm -hmm. So the, on, on the SX is quite simple. If you want to change the position, then you just uh, um, use another uh, handlebar. Yeah. On the RX, you have the clip-ons, mm -hmm. and, um, and and they, they are, are non-adjustable. No, and uh, but they are from the market. We work since many many years together with ABM uh, there for the um, handlebars, for the levers, mm -hmm. and um, they're so, situated in Germany and they produce everything in Germany. So yeah, we've most in house even. Yeah, so we actually yeah. been there and looked at the machines that they have in house. It's really cool. Yeah, well. I know, I know the owner, and I know Detlef. Uh, he was at LSL before, and uh, we've known him since twenty years at least. Yeah. So, so I've known are... him since I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, right. He didn't have you on the arm. No, not not that. 
five out of nine since I've heard like 12. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was knowing you when you was as a kid strawing uh, uh, around on the on the uh, on the on bike show with Fighterama <laughs> and so on. Uh, good old times. Yeah. So so um, yeah, the clip-ons uh, they they are different. Um, here you can have a look. Um, th uh, these are the normal. Uh, what Julia have in their hand now. These are the race clips, and they already have the first possibility. Yeah, you see to adjust. this tube is not straight. They have, I think, 10 degree bend. Mm -hmm. So. So if you if you uh, look like this, you see that there is the first possibility of a uh, of a personalization uh, 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 to make your handlebar position um, individually. Mm -hmm. So you can turn a little up yeah. down. I mean, you don't want them forward, but you could. Yeah. And you also have little lines on them, so you know where you actually are, and so you know that it's the same on both sides. Yeah. And then we have the other two versions uh, called Multiclip, Multiclip Tour and Race, where you can get even higher and also um, get the angle completely changed. Yes. And then yeah. we have these beauties. You get the special one. <laughs> yeah, talking, talking ergo, uh, ergonomics. And ABM. And ABM. These are the adjustable levers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 these are the normal ones. What Julia have. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it goes from one to six. Yeah, and that you get as uh, in different colors with different color adjusters. And the ends come in two different lengths. So when yeah. you order them, you have this is the long one, but you also have the short one, which is about this long. Yeah. And these are interchangeable with uh, six screws. So it's all actually really practical. Even if you go over, often it's only the ends that crack or yeah. Yeah. that you break and then you have like a yeah you don't destroy the whole thing but can only exchange this part yeah and this is uh, maybe when you have seen one of our videos of the world superbikes um, this is a brake lever you get the brake lever also as like the clutch lever mm -hmm. but this is an option um, only available in black um, where you have the uh, remote adjuster the thing is when you race an, a, a bike you are not able while you are racing to uh, take away your hand from the throttle because you want to win a race yes. so you need to have a have possibility to adjust with your left hand with a remote adjuster the uh, brake lever the wheel is really nice it's, it's really super. easy to turn it, you can just yeah. use your thumb you don't have to yeah. let go anything yeah yeah it's uh, they also make a thumb brake so so yeah. uh, uh, where you can brake with your thumb the rear brake um, so abm is is really really cool in in uh, these things and there we will look uh, into it uh, and that was the base um, of the factory team mm -hmm. in the World Superbike. Um, Julia already drew it up. Yes, right? I have them. We Look made some small changes. Yes. And um, this is, this is the levers, they have ball bearings. Mm -hmm. And um, so we will come with with uh, a lever kit at least for the 1190 maybe also for the 1125 mm -hmm. uh, there we there we need to make uh, some decision uh, just just to be clear um, uh, of course there must be a demand otherwise we make parts like this just a single uh, for our typhon projects because that is the thing at the end um, we uh, are on this market also uh, to build for customers mm. who can afford it, high class bikes. To be very clear, if there's nothing selling, then uh, maybe after 2021, we need to think about uh, if we just uh, do, do our stuff and mm. uh, stop producing uh, uh, parts for the, for the bigger market. Yeah, I mean, yeah. In one way, it is if they're like we produce ten of them, and we put them on two of or three of our projects, then it's kind of 
Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, but then, but, uh, but but that we can do, and then we say, okay, it is it is uh, just this uh, absolutely top piece of the market. People who are willing to to pay for this very very small number production, mm. and, uh, and and then we also good um, with with that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want something, let us know, and we'll see if we want to produce a small number for big money or a big number for small money. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> nicely said. Yeah, like the L uh, uh, LSL bobbins, we pushed them, and now they are at LSL out of stock again, but they will come in again uh, soon. But um, that was also was also something where we discussed. Okay, if they are not coming in now, we produce them mm -hmm. by ourselves. Um, and, uh, and and then maybe realize some some more options. Yeah, I think we got it now. No, oh, no, no. There's one more thing that you want to talk about that you are thinking about making next year. What is it? The break. Oh yeah. Oh, the yeah, break. Yeah. I almost forgot the break. Unfinished business. Yes. Unfinished business. Um, the front break. Yes. <laughs> In one of the boxes. From the World Superbike Team, we found this prototype um, where it is written "mock up only." <coughs> Don't use it. <laughs> so, when you compare the World Superbike uh, 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 prototype, uh, I call them always ZTL 2.5, and uh, the original casted one, um, yeah, well, <laughs> we 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 tested. A CNC made six piston mm. with Harald Kitsch. And in 2010, right? In 2010. Yeah. A CNC made uh, uh, with, with, with six piston, uh, stiff with uh, enough uh, uh, power, the right um, hydraulic relation. And, uh, and there we, we said hmm, it could work. To, to have a custom uh, uh, caliber for the ZTL, yeah, two or uh, yeah, two point five, and well, here you you need to have different mounting points. This works only on the World Superbike fork. Um, uh, we we are in the discussion. Uh, the question is if if there is a market again. Again, <laughs> for brake caliber, what costs like six hundred bucks? If there's a market, we have we we have the knowledge, we have the connection. ABM uh, <laughs> was uh, was uh, connected to Spiegler in the past. Uh, there we have uh, 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 detail knowledge. We have uh, ISR. Um, there we have a very very good connection to so ISR here in Sweden would for sure uh, uh, supply um, the pistons and the 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 the, the, the seal insides. the seal uh, stuff to us so well if there is a demand on a six or eight piston cool looking lighter um, uh, caliber um, we are all here. Sure, it's like always. You want it, you tell us. If you don't want it, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then we, we we still we still will make something, but then it might be an uh, one thousand or, or, or one thousand five hundred. Yeah, if we only make three, they're gonna yeah. be insanely expensive. If we yeah. know we can sell twenty or thirty, yeah. they are of course gonna be a lot cheaper. So, yeah, so let us know. We, uh, we have always demand from customers for super special and, and, and super exclusive uh, parts and uh, yeah that that the year the year 2020 have shown that with covid yeah. that um, the a lot of people are in trouble oh, of course yeah. and they will be also in, in 21 in trouble and, um, it's not magically get better over the years no, even. No, no, no. And we will try to cheer you up like, uh, yeah, now with art prints, uh, we, yeah. we, 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 we made something uh, where we thought, okay, that will bring some smile uh, uh, on, 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 uh, in some homes and uh, some yeah, nice stuff on some walls, what is not so expensive. We know that the shipping costs like to America are expensive, but that is something we hope that chess 
Argard from AMF, our partner in America, will uh, f figure out in a way that we can uh, now, when he do um, congratulations uh, right. to the retirement yes. uh, chess, um, Uh, 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 he will run AMF from next year on, as I understand, full time. Mm -hmm. And then um, we can uh, think about having some stuff lying there yep. that uh, uh, the transport costs are cheap. Or maybe you can get together with uh, um, your friends around yep. in your state or in your area and then you order together because, uh, of course, we get for $50 or 60 uh, we get a lot uh, into the package and uh, so we yeah, will it's only like the the initial cost of actually sending it yeah. like yeah. we can fit a lot of parcels in one of those <coughs> boxes but yeah. to just send the empty box would be the same cost yeah thing. like when you when you when you send one of the fiberglass tails oh, to america sick. you could easily put 10 post uh, 10 of the art prints around yeah. and then and then um yeah well you guys can split the the transport cost um we we will we will um launch soon also an uh, a customer um how you call it contingency program to just to just get in a better contact uh, and hold the contact to the customers mm -hmm. who are really um buying parts mm -hmm. and um and also uh try to get their individually deals out mm -hmm. and um yeah stay stay better in contact so um that will also be uh, launched uh, 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 yeah very soon mm -hmm. okay yeah i think now we actually have all the parts mm -hmm. there's a lot of parts oh we're through yeah yeah so thank you for tuning in and uh Stay safe, stay healthy, stay yeah. out of trouble. Usually works. Yeah. <laughs> and um, if we don't see each other, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But we will also have a special video with just yeah. the normal Merry Christmas and Happy New Year greetings. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So take care, everyone. Yeah, take care and um, stay safe. And uh, yeah, see us latest next year. Yeah. Bye. Bye.